has them in a park. It's got a bar recorder, 1904. See the uh, mark, no mark, but yeah, it wasn't too deep. Five, six inches. It's got a barber quarter with the e tractor. Sweet. Nice find. Guess what? Catch you guys next hole. And out on the farm field, nice little button. Catch you. Guys, I'm in the farm field and it's got a piece of 1600 spoon. Piece of a 1600 spoon. Found, I'm not going to show you guys where I am, but I found another piece behind me uh, and I just found the handle. 1600's in the pocket. Yeah! See ya. Guys, just got a kappa. Just got a kappa. This one looks like toast, though. Looks like toast. Oh, yeah. British kappa. British freaking kappa. Couldn't tell you what yet. Oh, no way. Is that a Queen Anne? Yeah, there's a King George or a Queen Anne copper. I'll get back to you guys. See ya. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I didn't know if it was on. Yeah, it's just a King George II, uh, probably 1740s, the age. Still pretty cool find. Gotcha. Guys, I'm about to start crying. I just found my second George Washington inaugural button. I'm not even joking. If you see the shield right on the chest right there, and then the star up there, and then that's the bottom right down there. I just found my second GW button, guys. So I'm gonna do a live dig on this guy. An 0850. Sounds freaking good. It's out of the hole. Now that's a good sign. See my hand? See if we can see it? Something now. It's Memorial Penny. Look at that. You guys see that? That's a freaking arrowhead. Let's pick it up. Oh my god. That's an arrowhead, guys. And that's a nice arrowhead. Wow. I love after it rains. You see, you can see everything after it rains. You know, stuff is laying on the surface. But that's a Native American arrowhead. Sweet. I think I'm gonna get fooled by this one. 0947 sounds like it can't be a can and it's out oh, suspense it's painful the suspense Where is it? usually if it's copper you can see it Oh my god, it is a copper. It's, oh, it's a large scent. You guys see that? I just got a largey. It looks like a, uh, yeah, it's a braided hair. Wow, right there. You guys saw it. Braided hair, large scent. Two coppers already. Yeah! See ya. I'm about, oh my god, freaking gold ring. No way. Look at that. Stuff the dirt. Push it out. Oh shit, it is gold. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, here's here's the marking. I can't I can't actually tell what it says. But that is a freaking gold ring, guys. And look at the roses on it. The rose oh it was right here too. Look, look, see the little imprint right there where it was sitting? Jesus Christ. Today couldn't get much better, honestly. If the rest of the week goes like this, I'm spending a week out here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gold ring. Go ahead, guys. Except for this little chunk that would be up that side that got chipped off. That's an arrowhead. Catch ya. A uh, mushroom musket ball. Probably hit an animal or something. But yeah. Still a musket ball. Catch you guys. It's hard to believe. Just kidding. So why would it be hard to believe? I just got. It's hard to believe that this is my first cat bus coin, but this is my first cat bus coin. Would you believe that? There's a hole right through the date. You know, guys, see the eagle on the back? Too non good. Alright, just make sure. 
there is the eagle right on the back. The oldest U.S. silver. I love today. Let's see. Peace off. Peace. Suspender buckle. Sweet. Catch you guys. I'm back. Short sleeve weather today. Beautiful day. And I just got an old tag. There's a hole through it. Whatever. Cool, cool. Fine. See ya. Just got a silver. And it's a 1942 Merc. See ya. Just got my third copy this week. Grab uh, six inches. Just a braided hair. But you know what? Still kappa. It's in a very good condition. Let me get my brush out. <clears throat> Probably one of the better condition coppers I've ever found. Just saying. See, a light brushing is all I do. Back. One cent. Date looks like 18... 40 something, but yeah, still a large set. You know what? And that's a good find in my book. So, put this away. See ya. Next back. Guys, that is the most worn nickel I've ever seen. It's a V nickel, but it's incredibly worn. Alright, see ya. Guys, just got an Indian head penny. Date is 1882. That's still nice. Thank you guys. Got another Indian head, guys. Yeah! Like how this day's turning out. Catch ya. Guys, yeah, just got my fourth copper. Number Squatro. Uh, it looks like there's a uh, guy on it. This is the front. It's a British copper for sure. Uh, maybe my first, maybe a Vermont copper. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, just get me a cap. Yeah. All right, I'll get back to you guys. Pretty insane, guys. Literally, I got my last copper right over there. I just got my fifth copper this hunt. Uh, literally a couple feet down the row. This one is another King George II, 1740s. I find this is what I major. I mostly find out here is the King George II's, but uh, sweet, now the Kappa, get back to you guys. Yeah, it's next to 1670 house, they just cleared out an area, and I just got an Indian head, so, yeah, got an Indian head in the pack, Let's see if I can find the date, 1889, sweet, back to you guys, find something else, it's not a house site, and uh, I was looking for a woman's ring, couldn't find it, so I just I got a good signal here, and I turned out to be a 1926 Merc. Catch it. Another Merc, guys. Is a No Mint Merc 1916. Yeah, No Mint Merc. Still a nice Merc. It was down eight nine inches. At the bottom right there. Alright, catch you guys. Guys, just got an Indian head penny. Don't know the date, but you know what? It's been a good day. And of course, my tackle box opened up and I'm sure everything's dumped out on the bottom. No, stayed in there. Nice. It's my fourth Indian head today, so. Been a halfway decent day in terms of Indian head pennies. Not the best I've ever had, but. All right, I'll catch you guys. Hunt for a bit longer, guys, because you know what this is? It's a ramrod channel for a British brown bess musket. I found one before. That's the reason I know. But uh, it's starting to rain, so I'll get back to you guys. Guys, it's worn to death, but I got my sixth cap. Sixth cap. In a new farm field, new part of town. I'll catch you guys. Now this may look like an insignificant piece of nothing, but it's actually a piece off a shoe buckle. It's a piece off the fork of a shoe buckle. So that just tells you the age right here. All right, let's see ya. It's in the woods, a couple inches deep. It's got a barber. 1906, Baba. Baba Dad. All right, now I know how deep everything is. Catch you guys later. There's a Boyne find. There's a 1914, uh, really good condition barber. All right, it's right there, so 
Get, I guess you guys nice hole. Basically, I'm wiped, I'm tired, and I just like fell asleep on the grass because it's so nice. But that's not the point. I got a New York State Excelsior, uh, World War II, I mean, what am I saying? Like, 1820s, I guess, War of 1812 era, New York State Excelsior's button. That's probably the best find for today. Uh, I don't know what these are go for, but I imagine they're decent. And I dropped it. Of course I did. But uh, there's Todd. Hello? Voice crack. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. I'm gonna keep going. I got my, I think it's the seventh copper of this trip. Uh, just over there. It's a uh, matron had large scent. So, anyways, cool. Alright, see you guys. In a park. Park's never been detected. I just got a corrodal bow down there. And I'll catch you guys next hole. Don't worry, I mauled up the back, but hey guys, I got a uh, 1903 Indian head penny. But I mauled up the back pretty good. What? Alright, I'll get back to you guys. Just got a merc. It's good. Catch you guys. This is uh, you, you guys already know. I just got a V-nickel in the same hole. And then as I flipped the plug open, look what was in it. Colonial clay pipe stem. Did you believe that? That's pretty cool. Alright, I'll catch you guys. Alright. He got the signal, I dug it, and I verified the signal, so it's mine. But, uh... Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> 1927 quarter. Wow, so, guys, I just got a signal. This is nothing special. It's just a back of a pocket watch. But I thought this was a cigarette butt, and I looked over... And it's another clay pipe stem. This one's really, really, you know how I can tell? The bore, the hole in it, is really wide compared to the size of it. 1600s right there, guys. All right, I'll get back to you guys. Uh, hey, guys. I'm out here with Dave Wise, Todd Hills. I just got a seed of dime, 1876. Yeah, now Todd Brush. Just got a seed of dime from 1876. Nice find. All right, I'll catch you guys. Why am I turning the detector off? Alright, let me just put this in my pocket. Oh, uh, it's good, Nick. Hey, boss. Hey, guys, my friend just got a Drake Bust half dollar. 18 oh freaking 5. You're gonna die. <sighs> Dude. Fucking sick, man. Dude, Dude that man. is sick. That's sick. Right, Dude. Right on 18 the surface, 5 man. half dollar. Dude, right on the surface. I just got a kappa. Cap in the field, and it's a uh, 1793 chainsaw. I'm just kidding. Uh, boss, can't tell right now. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, doing <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wow, that could be a drape boss. Oh, it's a Liberty Cap. It's a Liberty Cap. Liberty Cap. Is it really? It's a freaking Liberty Cap. My second one, Liberty Cap. See that? Yes, no, it is. See the bun it right there? Oh, yeah, yeah, My yeah. My second freaking Liberty Cap. Uh-oh, he's doing that. I'm licking it. I'm licking it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Second Liberty Cap. You're, you're still a turd. Really? <laughs> I'm here to get the second one. <laughs> but, yeah, look at that guy. Liberty Cap. Large scent. 17... <laughs> Where's the seat? Early 1790s. It could be a 1790 All right, I'll catch you guys. Seeing Relic, guys, to say watch winder, and here's the chain still attached. They're coming on over, but, uh, it's cool, fine. All right, let's get back to you guys. It's my uh, my friend is the luckiest son of his Dusenberg I've ever met. Uh, 1805 half dollar drape bust. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Zeus. <laughs> 50 cent, wow. You're a deadly. Thanks. Uh, later. That's pretty good. See you, I guess. It's got an insane button. I think it's a War of 1812 officer's button. You gotta be kidding me. I haven't found one of these in a while. Hey, you first yeah. ever. I was just imitating uh, Dick Fellows, by the way. All right, you guys won't believe it. That's a sick button. See you guys. This is well, another, another War one. of 1812 button. This is a campsite in here, guys. We got a couple of musk. Can I see what it rings up as? Yeah, yeah. We got a couple has musket a balls in here too. Yeah, yeah. So, uh. Has a shield and everything. Has it. Another military button, Todd! Second military button! Same one, isn't Shit. it? Shit. I right. got one of those signals before. Alright, I'll, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Got a 1600s button. It has a nipple on it right here, for lack of a better word. So, yeah. Sweet, 1600s button. 
to get back to you guys. I just got a kiapa, my second kiapa today. Get seven uh, coppers today? No, I said my second copper today. I have like nine, ten or so this week. Big bust? Uh, probably. To be honest with you, I couldn't tell you right now. It's kind of thin. Mm -hmm. Could be KJ, right? Uh, can't tell right now, guys. Uh, yeah, nice green patina on it, though. Yeah, like yeah it's a large scent, though. Yeah, it's a matron head, it looks like. See the, uh, this, you can almost see the outline right over there. So, yeah. Got a yeah, I just got, uh, you guys, probably my ninth or tenth copper this week. But it looks like a uh, King George the Third. Yeah, it's called George of Us the Third. Okay, and here's the back. And there's a shield on it. There's a harp on it. Uh, but, uh, yeah. That's all. Nice copper. Back to you guys.